So we're gonna go ahead and hop up on top of the trailer so I can show you exactly what, uh, what I've done so far and uh, show you what I'm gonna do next. So far, I've taken this cover off. This covers the uh, air vent for the refrigerator. I'm going to run my power cables down here from the solar panel to the down to the controller. I've also marked where my panel is for my uh, solar panel. These are little panel brackets. Did you notice they're right here on this is a there's a beam right here. I'm close to one here. Not quite. Hopefully I can get it on an angle. I'm not sure. We're gonna do our best. I got my panel there. My sealant. And my cables to hook up the panel. So let's get at it. So now I have all the roof work done. I ran, I, I mounted the solar panel, ran the cables down through the vent for the refrigerator. You can see here, here's my cables. Let me flip the camera around here. So I pulled the cables down tight and I've kind of mounted them here, just screwed them in place so they would stay tight. Now my next piece I'm gonna measure here. I'm gonna add a mounting board here and then hook these up. So in my trailer, it only made sense for me uh, since I was using the refrigerator vent from the roof. Uh, I brought these up through the side and just plugged them into my controller. I put some wood on the back inside to help support that controller. 
Uh, from there, I ran the cables down by the side of the furnace and then through this here. Now this is the cable channel. There's lots of existing cables that go through under the side, uh, the slide out and up through here. And then into this box is uh, the water heater. Uh, there was a gas access line down with a, like a little cover already. And so I didn't have to drill on the trailer. So I just dropped my cables down in and then ran to the battery. All right, hey guys, uh, this is day two of having solar on the trailer. I'm gonna push my little slide out, out so I can get to the little controller. So it looks like right now my solar is pushing 13.4 volts to the battery. So another reason I put it right here, so the slide out comes out, there's a kitchen table here and there's a little couch here. Uh, this also has some USB, yeah, USB jacks right under here. Uh, I put it there so it'll be easy to throw the USB chargers for phones, cameras, whatever, be right here, have a cable long enough and just sit on the table or on the couch. Now it works for me. Uh, uh, it may be, may be a better spot for you on your trailer. All in all, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. Now I could have paid somebody to do it, but I just like to do things myself. It gives me a sense of accomplishment. I know you can too. So, you know, don't think there's a project too big. There may be, but I think solar's one probably anybody can handle. Just mount the, mount the panel on the roof like I showed you, run the cable as best you can, and then get the battery hooked up. I can see it's, it's dumping 13 to 15 volts to the battery, so all my batteries should maintain a good charge. I like this better than having to plug it in, because plugging it in, it's running like the little uh, AC, AC to DC converter, my control unit, my trailer, and I hear a fan constantly going. Uh, and I, I don't want to have to worry about having to plug it in all the time. So. When I'm dry camping, I have a automatic solar solution just to keep my batteries charged. I don't have to fire up a generator unless I need to run the AC uh, or the microwave. So uh, I just love solar. I try and do as much solar for everything I can. Uh, it may not be cost beneficial, but I just, I like it. Uh, and it, it works for me. It may not work for you, but I think you can all handle uh, an installation of solar on your trailer. All in all, it took me two evenings about three to four hours each evening, mostly because I just, um, I try to be a perfectionist some of this stuff. I wanted to look good. I wanted to be done right. I didn't want the trailer roof to leak. Uh, so I just took my time. I try not to rush through these. I wanna make sure I do them right. So it could probably take me less time next time. Uh, but all in all, it was great, not hard. You can do it. Get out of there guys, see ya.